guys i think we should start the session now it's already 6 6 so i think in the last session if you remember that we have discussed about the bcg matrices and what is the basic concept behind bcg matrices and we have also covered up at how the different quadrants when it come to question mark star cash cow or even the dog matri- uh, dog positions how the company may revive because this complete matrices is based on the product life cycle or business life cycle we can say according to that we can uh, we can, can understand that how a particular company can actually start from their new product from the a uh, question mark stage either the product may move to the star stage or either the product may move to the dog stage as well depends on the performance of the particular product from the star position it may reach to cash cow because of the less innovation or less demand from the market or even it may move to dog directly as well i hope so this complete quadrants is are clear to everyone and on the basis of same as well i have given you one exercise as well i think that will discuss it 645 sharp okay everyone i think bcg matrix are clear to everyone yes sir perfect now the next topic and the most important topic under portfolio analysis that is about your ge matrices first of all what is ge matrices we need to understand like similar to the particular portion of bcg matrices which is being developed by boston consulting group the same fundamental it, it is being developed by the general electric with the assistance of mckinsey and the company as per ge matrices or as per ge business screen basically the industry competitiveness or how the company can stay competitive in the market the company has designed actually basically nine matrices model okay which consists of basically nine basic factors to consider on the basis of you could say business strength and on the basis of industry attractiveness okay now similar to the example i think we discussed in the last section that under bcg matrices we are considering only two factors that is about the business growth rate and comparable market share that i think we discussed in the last session if you remember okay again we can see that in this particular case of bcg matrices we have very limited scope to compare the company on the basis of basically four quadrant which start from question mark stars cash cow and we talk about the dogs as well okay now in such a cases it is basically more we can say straight forward method but when we want to have the detailed analysis of the company when it's come to their competitive strength when it's come to their business attractiveness when it's come to their market share when it's come to their market attractiveness as well on all such ground whenever we need to compare the company in detail we actually always gone through with the ge business screen or ge business matrices okay now as per ge business matrices basically we have total nine quadrants let me show you that i think part now as you can see on the screen now similar to the bcg matrices as we discussed that under ge matrices we have basically two bases on which we are comparing the company or we are assessing the business attractiveness or industry attractiveness okay that starts with the business strength or competitive position and second one start from industry attractiveness okay now you can see that it start from strong average weak and again high medium and low now first of all we need to understand what do you mean by business strength or we can say competitive position or what do you mean by industry attractiveness first i am talking about the business strength or competitive position as you know that like the example if we talk about like for example we start with the apple okay how the apple is having basically the business strength or we can say competitive position in comparison with the samsung and other mobile phones okay we talk about uh, we can say reliance if even we talk about the comparison with jio and the airtel okay these two companies are basically having cut throat competition when it's come to sector of telecommunication okay again we move to the next part dmart and big bazaar how these companies are basically going through with their competitive position the most important part is that whenever a particular company is designing their strategy whether it is short term long term or we could say medium term strategy they always need to keep in mind about their position in the market about the perspective of the customer towards the brand loyalty or towards the brand equity okay because when i'm just using the word brand equity it is nothing but 
the company's position or company's attractiveness in the market in the mind of the customer i hope so the business strength and competitive positions are clear to the first half because the, these are the two comparison basis we are talking right now is it clear please everyone yes sir yeah sure okay sir second the bifurcation or second basis is about all about your industry attractiveness now when i am just talking about certain industries which are highly or we can say very less demanded in the market like for example we talk about camera industry okay we talk about music player or cd or we talk about dvds it is rarely demanded in the market nowadays again one more thing we talk about apparel industry because if you talk about the traditional appears with the people do wear on various occasion somehow the westernization has actually overburden on all such industries okay what i'm just talking right now industry attractiveness is nothing but the demand of that particular product in the long term perspective whether the particular product or the you could say offering which the company is providing in the market will it be able to sustain in the long run or not that is called the industry attractiveness okay industry attractive nothing but basically the domain which you are talking right now that domain may be anything which may be telecommunication which may be apparel section which may be groceries what or whatever we are talking right now the most important part is that whether the particular customer will still demand that particular product in long run or not whether that particular section or the option which you are looking forward or which you are thinking to set up your own business whether the particular sector or that domain or the product or the services will sustain in the long run with a profitable venture or not that basically comes under industry attractiveness like you can see that the change or the transformation in the education sector as well how it was traditionally like a for apple b for ball it drastically moved from the complete digitalization when it's come to artificial intelligence when it's come to education sector as well like when we talk about the mode of shopping how the people actually traditionally visit to a particular store and the purchase their apparel now you can find everything you can even change you can even uh, you could say adopt an attire like we talk about the example of lens card lens card is basically providing a services when you open the application that particular industry was very restricted initially but you can see that because of you could say the particular person want the specs or something else they always need to have a particular certain level of innovation some creativity some new concepts so that the customer would be able to purchase the product directly with some innovative ideas with some websites or any particular component which the lens card is providing i hope you understand point what is industry attractiveness how the particular company may become competitive or how the particular sector may become competitive in the long run that is what we are talking right now in this particular case of industry attractiveness i hope so guys these two bases are clear to everyone what exactly we are talking right now. ha ji i hope so it's clear so that i'll start discussing this nine matrices now please yes sir yes sir yes sir sure. now again you can see that the comparison of all these particular component you can see start with the very first point that is winners okay now who are winners first of all the particular company those who are dealing in such a sector which is highly demanded which is you could say never been you could say on the downside in the in the long run so, uh, simultaneously the company also having the business strength or competitive position any example we can quote please industry attractiveness is very very high and business strength or competition is they have a very strong position in the market like i'll take a very basic example of iim indian institute of management or iit the flavor the charm the perception in society about these two institutes will never end i think in near 20 to 30 years okay because the person who is iim alumni or iit alumni do have certain weightage in the market i'm talking about industry attractiveness that is education or higher education we can say along with that the iim as a brand iit as a brand you can see that how these companies are basically become the winners 
in the concern sector we are talking right now are you getting my point please yes we take uh, we, we talk about few more example like let's suppose we talk about philips and the innovation is the philips always comes with recently you can see that the philips comes up with the coffee filter if a coffee making machine is the very first time they have introduced okay even the philips recently is going for even the definitely the male community always know it better that single blade actually can do all the favors for you i am talking about innovation right now how the particular philips is still competitive since la last 20 to 30 years in the grooming products we talk about okay even when i am talking about certain innovation as well in the electric uh, you could say varieties this is basically the how the particular philips having the competitive strength even you can see that once you will compare any product which is being offered by philips and its close competitor somehow you will find a drastic difference in that apple belong to this category as well because since last 12 to 13 years how the apple has basically captured the market like anything in when it's compared with the other products i hope so the first part is clear the winners we are talking right now i think sony is also sir sony yes uh, sony might be in the case of camera if you can consider i think or even led tvs we can consider they do not they have the yeah, un yeah. unmatched quality unmatched uh, picture clarity i think so when you compare with the yeah, xd or yeah. samsung not at all only anyone not beat it till now yes definitely sir definitely because you guys try to understand whatever the matrices we are talking right now basically a particular company may belong to any of this particular option even the apple may belong to two or three categories okay it does not mean that a particular company may be belong only to the particular one option only no because it totally depends on the product or the services which they are offering to the customer a particular product because of particular product only the company may be successful like i am talking very beautiful example about ford motors the ford motor is successful only because of ford eco sports in the current market right now because uh, uh, and the ford endeavor which they launch definitely they have a different varieties of range but because of this two vehicles only the ford motor is having a very good market share in the indian territory are you getting my point student please what we are talking right now any example yes, from, yeah any example from your end please tata steels Uh, can you please uh, repeat it? Tata Steels. Tata Steels. Yes, yes. Definitely, we can consider. Sayam, any example? Okay. No idea, sir. Perfect, perfect. No worries. So let's move to the second part now. Now, if you, I think you might be wondering that exactly what is the meaning of this particular two-colored graph pie chart we are talking right now. Okay, what this pie chart indicate? First of all, any idea? So it is a part of two variations. Hmm. And so what is signifies over here? Signifies over there is a light point is shown at the industry attractiveness, and set is uh, although the uh, industry attractiveness or the business strength. And second one is the competitive position, which is the dark one. Okay. So in this case, the winner having the most the business and the higher side and the competitive position also is having, but the overall the seventy five to eighty percent having uh, business and side and industry attractiveness is a higher side. Mm -hmm. So winner having this position and this loser having there is the. Uh, Say, okay. Something other having also, na. There's the profit goes. Maybe there is. This is the. No, no. Uh, it's completely right. Basically, yeah. Definitely, I'll just explain you how exactly the company compare because uh, the next, uh, uh, I think, the scale which we have. Because whenever we want to analyze even your own business, Sayam, if you want to analyze your own business. Okay, you can also do this particular analysis. Okay, but how to do that? I think for that particular purpose, you have a sufficient backup data available to compare it. 
Okay, let me show you, I think that scale first and then we'll get back to you this diagram. Okay, you can see on my screen right now, the plot product line or business units on G business screen follow these four basic steps. The first one, select criteria to rate the industry for each product line or business unit. Assess overall industry attractiveness for each product line or business unit on a scale of one to five. I'm talking about industry attractiveness. Okay, definitely because for example, if I'm talking about Maruti in comparison with the other similar brands, somehow you need to categorize that on the basis of profitability, on the basis of market share, on the basis of market growth, on the basis of customer demand, whatsoever. Because whenever we are comparing the companies, these companies must be compared on the basis of certain grounds. Okay, and these grounds may be anything, maybe profit, maybe cost, maybe uh, you could say market share, Maybe you could say the company's demand in the market, whatever it could be. Okay. On the basis of that, you will first of all select that what is basically the basis to select about industry attractiveness from one to five. For example, I'm considering Maruti right now. For me, definitely Maruti would be on, in a mediocre stage right now because they are facing severe competition from Kia and Hyundai. Clear. So I'll put it around three or so four. Honda too. Honda as well, yes. So then you might, you might have the Honda car might be. Yeah, yes. <laughs> great, great. Guys, I think first point is clear. What exactly you're talking, right? The basis of industry attractiveness. For example, like example I'm considering for Apple right now, definitely Apple will come in five out of, uh, you could say, uh, five if you need to rate. Is it clear, please, everyone? Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Second one, select the key factor needed for success in each product line or business unit. Assess business strength now. The second part. Okay. Again, from one to five, it would be from very weak to very strong. Five, five uh, strengths for very strong and one strength for very weak. According to that, you can mark it. Okay. Next one. Plot each product line or business unit's current position on a matrix as that depicted in the figure. Now you can see that, for example, if I'm considering Maruti right now, when we compare Maruti industry attractiveness, definitely it would be very, very high because the vehicle which the Maruti provide in the Indian territory is somehow suits to the need of the Indian customer when it's come to affordability, when it's come to low maintenance, when it's come to customer support. These are the factors which we can always consider in this regards. When I'm just talking about the competitive position, Somehow Maruti stands at four or at five or at three, maybe depends on your perspective or depends on the, on the basis on which you are comparing that company. Okay. For example, we are keeping it three. Okay. Three, basically, when we talk about it is an average, I think guys, please three, basically it's an average and uh, Maruti having high attractiveness. So Maruti basically belong to in these two categories. This or this depends on their position. For example, if Sanyam is considering profit is one of the criteria to compare Maruti on the base of industry attractiveness or business strength, definitely Sanyam might belongs to A. Similarly, Ayushi is there. She is comparing on the basis of the uh, maintenance or costing factor or affordability factor. She may be around in the sector B. I hope so because as you can see that if you are giving any point out of five, if it is five or four, it belongs to definitely high to medium. If it is from three to two, it belongs to medium to low. And if it is one, it is low. On the basis of that, which particular category company belongs to, according to that A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, you may actually go through it. Right? I hope so. You understood what exactly the meaning of this points. One thing, the question mark stage. I think yesterday even we talked about that particular stage. Industry attractiveness is fantastic. Okay, like how the Paytm started and after that you can see the phone pay, Google pay, a lot of companies comes up in the market. Okay, even though there are a lot of companies, those are still in the pipeline to compete with the Paytm and Google, uh, Google pay right now. But still like Bharat pay, I think if I remember, I think that particular uh, application is not that demanded or uh, catchy, we can say when it's come to user friendly approach. Okay, so that particular company belong to question mark. Why so? Because that particular application or the mode is 
the future of India or future of the world, we can say, when it comes to payment systems. But that company having the weak competitive position. So that company belongs to question mark stage. I hope so, guys, everyone is getting my point what exactly we are talking right now and how to analyze, how to read this particular G matrices. Am I clear? 